Mark Savage, the man with 100,000 jobs every day that he doesn't need to do every day, but he does. Hi. Um, Something hot tub up. <laughs> I've had it away for a few weeks. Um, thank you so much for staying with me. My next three videos are average. I mean, I asked about winter, I got asked about winter bikes. I've done that one. Had to wrap them up. Uh, I wanted to do a difference on mopeds and motorbikes, and I wanted to show about the screen. And you know, when you do something, you're just not quite happy with it. Like I'm filling this top tub up now, and I had to drain a bit of oil out, and I had to do a little bit of other things. So I apologise for the next three videos. They're gap fillers, I suppose. I'm waiting for a good video. I've been waiting to do a ride out on the actual um, Bergman, but every bloody day it's either raining, waning, raining or windy. I put them two together. I mean, you got hangry. Why can't I put them together like wind and? Oh, never mind. I'll think of that one. So please enjoy the next three videos of a little cup of tea. Please stay with me. There's a better video coming, or maybe I should just stop doing crap videos. <laughs> Someone said to me, I don't have a motorbike, I don't have a car, but I like watching your videos. So the people, thank you so much for liking and subscribing, because that means a lot to me. Right, I'm going to get on with filling the uh, hot tub up. And I'm doing good, because I now slept in the back of the head. And then I've asked me a lovely cup of tea. No. It's not going to make me a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, enjoy this next video. Now, some of you may be wondering why I didn't get a slap on the back of the head. Because firstly... I stuffed her in the hot tub. And secondly, I made her tea. <laughs> there you go, honey. Thank you. You enjoy that? And I'll keep saying things about you. <laughs> I was recently asked by a YouTuber, how do you winterize your bike? Meaning storing it up for the winter. We get that. There's three trains of thought that seem to be the generalization of what people do. First guy, rides it in the summertime, Starts to get a bit crappy like it is now, wet on the floor, a bit cold. He parks his bike up, shuts the garage door or shed, comes back in March and goes to start his bike. <laughs> a few problems with that. Guy two, rides his bike, says it's time to put the bike away now, washes it, cleans it, oils the chain up, WDs all the little bits, silicones where he needs to go, and then pulls the bike in the garage. Two options then, put it on trickle charge, like I've got, or takes the earth lead off of the battery, the power doesn't matter, but the earth lead is the main one that gets the battery, so you save it. Every two to three weeks, pulls the bike out, it's not pissing down with rain or windy, starts the bike, let it tick over 10 odd minutes, and then pops back in again. The third way. <coughs> then come the come March time, takes it out, starts the bike up, and goes for a nice little run. Or number three, I'm not gonna go with fanatics, but these guys really do love their bikes. So, as soon as it gets anywhere near damp or a bit horrible outside, they bring the bike in, they put the bike on stands, they can drain the petrol completely out, so there's nothing in the system, take the battery off, and they really winterize it and cover it. I don't mean the guys that really do the other side of these ones, you know, like literally just pulls it in, dirty chain, rusty, and leaves it and tries to ride next year, or the ones that really do go, you know, hell, hell for leather, as it were. I always make sure, for me, my bike is in the between number two or it is number two so after i've finished riding i'll bring the bike in i'll clean her i'll make sure the chain is all done i'll make sure the tire pressures are okay because you've got to make sure about tire pressures as well when you when you've left your bike over for three or four months in the winter time pressures and the tires and the external pressures they do change and you can lose some pressure on the tires I must check to be honest with you it's only two to three or four pounds but it will make a difference on the ride and safety as well so if you're gonna winterize your bike this is what i suggest you do if like me you're storing your bike up it makes sense now that the servicing and the caring for the bike that you should be doing all year round for instance your chain now's the time to tighten your chain and lubricate it WD everywhere. Now, if like me, you're a bulk buyer that the wife didn't know about. Okay, she did know about. How did she do that? Let's have a quick look at what I bought. A bit more oil, 20 litres again, I know, and I bought some other little bits here and bobs. So now's the time really that you should be using these. I use white wax, but I have still got my massive muck off kit that I bought last year. 
still going strong. And this one here, the Markov chain lubricant, smells really nice. Savage box. It's a good job the wife doesn't know about the other cupboard. Yes, I do. How did she do that? I'm just going to close this now. It's good job the wife doesn't know everything. Yes, I do. Damn it. Moving on quickly. Number two. Clean her, put her to bed, full tank of gas, petrol, start every couple of three weeks, leave it on trickle charge, which I have got here, or if you haven't got one of them, take the earth lead off, okay? That will save your battery. If you're just gonna pull it into a garage after you've had your summer riding, you're gonna come out next March, and your bike firstly is gonna have a dead battery. The fuel part of it, different trains of fault. I don't think in cold weather here, three or four months with a full tank of gas is gonna hurt it that much. You can drain it out. I don't like draining petrol completely out of a bike. Some people with injection models will run it right down to the red, keep it running, and it's empty. So the injection's empty, your petrol's gone completely out of your tank, and they can drain the oil. You can really go hell for leather. I wouldn't do that personally, because I know I like to start my bikes every couple of three weeks anyway, just to keep them ticking over. Chain, really do a good job of that if it's got a chain shaft drive you can't touch, but you know, get it up, give it a good old clean, and then really, really put on the old wax or whatever you're gonna put on there, the proper chain lube. Don't use WD or the cheap maintenance sprays on your chain. Use quality chain lubricant, it makes sense. I don't like draining the petrol out, chock a block it full of petrol and you keep it running. When you go for your ride the next year, come March let's say, um, you know you've got enough fuel in there and you can go for your little ride, fill up with fresh fuel, good as gold. That's my top tip today I suppose. You can go either way, you know most people are used to that. Uh, if you've just parked your bike up and the battery's dead, ain't gonna hold a charge, you go to earth, the plates touch and you're gonna pay 40 to 100 pound odd for a new battery. And that's what you like doing, go for it. I don't like draining the petrol out, I said on carb models, I find that if you drain the petrol out completely out of your carbs, the low rings and stuff like that, they can split. I know that the petrol is very corrosive anyway, but I just find that when you drain them out, you cause more problems. Same as if you drain all the oil out and drain all the fluids out, you know, race bikes do that, is because they're really well tuned. Your average bike, it's not worth doing. Come March, if you want to then give it a service and drain the oil out and do the antifreeze and the brake fluid and everything else, by all means do it. There's enough videos out for people to help you with that. But that's my top tips for putting a bike away. And I suppose then you could cover it as well. Nice and warm. I've got carpet in here and it's warm in my little garage. I'm still riding this. Not the last couple of days. And to be honest with you, since I'm back on holiday, it hasn't stopped bloody raining every single day. So I thought I'd rode this once. Otherwise, it's the Super Bergman. Some of you noticed that little screen. Next video coming up. Right, thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been reasonably helpful. Um, I was just asked by another YouTuber, what would I do? And that's what I would do. So, take care of yourselves on the road. They are not nice now. In this weather, November, the leaves are on the, the road, and um, there's greasy bits, wall turning dry patches. And this is what's not clever now. This is the most time you're actually gonna come off because you've still got a bit of confidence, it seems a bit warm, but once them leaves are on the road and they get under tires, you're gonna have a little spill. Just take care of yourselves. Right, that's this one done. Ta-da. <coughs> Guy two rides his bike all year round. This guy, <laughs> that's wrong, isn't it, really? Because I'm not gonna ride this one all year. But generally, okay, let's 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 scrap that. Guy two rides his bike in the summer, enjoys it, and then prepares his bike for the winter shutdown. So he cleans it, washes it, sprays all, lubricates the chains and WD-40s, everything else. Um, and then puts it on one of those primer, on one of those, and puts it on a trickle charge, or disconnects the battery. Now when I disconnect the battery, I always do the power, the red, the live. I always disconnect that one, leave the earth, okay? No, I don't. <coughs> Scrap all of that. You have guy two. This is the guy that rides his bike, Enjoys riding like everybody else does, but starts to get a bit crappy. You bring his bike on the nice last day. On the nice 
on the last nice day of summer. So, you know, I don't fucking have a plane. I'm gonna go again, all right? Scrap all this, fucking idiot. And a plane. I'm not about extremists, you know, the other side of them. I don't mean extremists, extreme people. Let's cut that one out completely. I... So if you haven't got a centre stand, or you haven't got a, a, a lift. So if you haven't got a centre stand or a paddock stand, the only way of lubricating your chain is the old fashioned way, which I'm gonna do now. It's a bit cumbersome. Make sure it's on the stand still. Side stand that is. And then repeat, or you can spray a little bit, move it back, spray a little bit again, move it back again. Thank you, noisy fucking Cleo. And Crow. Anyway, so, or you can spray a good few inches of the chain and then move it back and forwards that way. But that's how I do it. And I wipe off any excess. You don't want to go overboard with it because it will go on the back tyre and you'll be off. The wax is probably better because it sticks onto it. It's a good, good make lubricant for your chain. This doesn't need plugs or air filter, although I did discuss in my last video of this one that the plugs aren't as bad as the Mark 1. You can get to all four plugs on here relatively easy, so that's something that I might be doing this year. Still very low mileage, and I haven't done that many miles on this bike, so still loving it. And the old WD everywhere, clean it, silicon it. Also, tyre pressure. I mentioned this, if you're going to have it stored up for four months, over the winter months, First thing I do check before I get back on the road is the tyre pressure. You can lose some. Worth checking. And obviously then, your lights, indicators, brake light, high beam and so on. You might as well do it all before you get back on the road. And that's it. Let's get back to the rest of the video.